New Richmond's police chief says the heroin problem there is simply out of control and he's asking for any help he can get. And tonight, the first steps were taken in that direction with the assistance of the state attorney general's office. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live in New Richmond with a story you'll see only on Local 12 News. Brad. Well, good evening, Cammie. And the message to drug dealers, the bad guys here in New Richmond, is pretty clear from the public citizens, community leaders, and police say they want to take their streets back. Tonight, they took one big step towards doing that in the hopes of winning this fight. Standing in the old Market Street School Theater, New Richmond Police Chief Randy Harvey tells residents he's getting beat up. Chief Harvey says he's done everything he can on a local level, but it's not enough. It's a huge issue in every community in every area, so it's not something that is unique to um, New Richmond. What is unique? They're talking about the problem and they're fighting it, coming up with ideas on how to stop the sale and use of drugs and get addicts help. New Richmond High School principal Mark Bailey is one of the concerned sitting in the crowd. If they've gone through our schools, then I'm sitting here thinking, is there something we could have done? And that's one of the reasons I'm here tonight, to just gain more information, see what I can do uh, to help for our students. Some of the possible solutions to squashing the addiction problem, free drug counseling, more lights on the streets, more money for police, and fines for landlords who rent to known drug dealers and users. Marie McFarland is a shop owner in New Richmond and says for those who live here, it's no secret who the addicts are, and it's time to stop being enablers. They need to be treated with tough love so that they get the help they need. Tough love means not giving them the money, not allowing them in your home, not allowing them to go in and come and go whenever they please because that's where they steal from the parent. And it's, it's a well-known fact. Now in the crowd tonight, one woman bravely admitted that she's been struggling with the heroin addiction for more than six and a half years. She came to the meeting to get some help. She wants people to stop dying and get help that they can afford. Reporting live in New Richmond, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cammie. All right, Brad, thank you. And the Attorney General's office will now sort out all of the suggestions and create action plans and assignments before returning to New Richmond. Well, so